Hey all, I want to share a couple of refinements that I've made that maybe you can use on your own aircraft, uh, particularly it's flying wings like this. And the first one is how to use the one piece of foam board, which I've covered with packing tape, to create your vertical stabilizers out of the same piece like this with a nice smooth curve right on the edge nice and sturdy and strong and the second one is how to finish these edges by taking the piece of paper on the top with or without packing tape as I put on here continuing it right around the edge so that the edge itself is actually covered with the paper and packing tape as well. Here's another example it's the uh, horizontal and vertical stabilizers of this plane where the paper and tape is continued right around to the underside and is hot glued down. So first I'll talk about how to use a piece of ready board foam board that's been covered with packing tape and how to take the paper and tape on the top and wrap it around the other side so that it makes a nice durable aerodynamic edge and that's what I've done on the leading edge of both of these deltas. This one's built and ready to go. And this one I'm going to put an EDF on it. You see now it's just a triangle with no vertical stabilizers. The leading edge has been rolled over and I've actually put an extra piece of tape just to make it a little bit more visible and a little more smooth. And what I'm going to do in this design is create a, a keel of sorts right down the center where I attach all my electronics. And I'm going to use this black piece and I need a piece. It's about three inches wide just to go right down the center of that. This could be your elevator, rudder, um, or a stationary control surface, anything that you, where you need a nice, durable, smooth edge. So for this particular application, I'm going to want about a three inch wide piece to go from here. And so I'm going to cut this half an inch bigger than that on each side, so four inches wide by the whole length. So now here's that piece that's four inches wide and I've trace the line half an inch in from either edge. That's where I'm going to fold in and that will leave me three inches between the lines. The lines are just for visibility. And what we're going to do now is to just score at least halfway through the foam and the top layer of paper. Be sure not to cut all the way through, but just score about halfway through. Okay, so I've gone ahead and scored about halfway through both sides. And actually I did the, the ends as well because I'm going to fold this colored part underneath all the way around and after that all you need to do is bend back the foam like that and then just peel this off and now you're left with that piece of foam board with a smaller piece on the bottom and then the larger piece of the paper and plastic on top that can be folded over to the other side. That gives you a nice clean, smooth, protected edge. Now I'm going to roll the plastic and paper over and glue it down with ordinary hot glue. And a good way to do that is to have your hot glue gun ready. A piece of a clean, relatively cool metal like um, a yardstick or a ruler, this is just a piece of aluminum bar stock, and it doesn't have to be immaculate, it doesn't have to be frigid, just like room temperature cold and clean enough so that the hot glue is not going to stick to it. And all you need to do is just rest it right under the foam board, and then I'm going to put two stripes of glue, one right next to the foam board junction, and then one kind of at the edge where the paper is going to fold over to the foam board here. And that neither of those have to be very thick, with glue. And you just fold over the piece of metal and then press it right down. And it seems that the metal conducts the heat away from the hot glue very quickly and it usually will just snap right off. And so that the piece of paper and plastic has been rolled over. Now there are places where it's not adherent like that, depending on how much glue that you've put. It's real easy just to run a bead of glue right along there and then take your piece of metal and switch it down again. The uh, 
foam board right here and whatever excess glue squeezes out usually comes out quite thin and cosmetically acceptable it just snaps off so there's a little bit of excess glue right there but it's really quite thin if this is a visible part of your plane you may choose to put a piece of extra tape over it in this case th this one's going down on the plane so nobody will ever see that and so there that is with the colored packing tape and paper folded over to make a nice smooth clean edge this is useful especially in like horizontal and vertical stabilizers especially if you fly in wet grass like me and if you have tape on the top and bottom it rolls right over the edge and it eliminates the need to take like other packing tape and try and meticulously fold it over the edge to seal everything this is a quick and dirty way to do it and depending on the cosmetics of it like there's a little excess glue here but it's on the bottom of the plane you don't really see it or <clears throat> If you prefer, you can put another piece of tape over that to make it really smooth and bomb proof. Okay, I've taken my basic Delta flying wing and I've put uh, elevons on it, hinged. This is the top, this is the bottom. I have another video on that. And I've left enough unhinged area on the tip to create that vertical stabilizer right here. I've made that four inches in and left a little bit more of a generous gap between the movable elevon and the stationary part of the wing which is to become the vertical stabilizer same on this side next what i'm going to do is score just the paper and as little foam as possible on the top just inside the vertical stabilizer in order to allow it to bend up if you can double check that and measure it against your midline to take a measurement here and here to make sure that your cut is parallel to the actual midline of the aircraft front to back like that and then a little relief cut about one thickness of foam right here okay so the cut was right there right adjacent to the elevon and I peeled back the paper and the packing tape about a half an inch and what's going to happen is this vertical stabilizer will fold up and this paper and plastic will advance across this surface just a little bit where it can be glued down at a 90 degree angle so I've started doing this a lot with just a piece of wood, putting it right on the bend like that and bending it right up. So that, that permits it to bend over like this. So it's a nice smooth transition on the outside where the tape is uninterrupted. And then what, we'll, what I'm going to do now is tape or glue that tape down to the top surface to make a nice smooth transition on the inside. This is a similar trick where I've got my hot glue gun ready, a piece of clean room temperature or slightly cool piece of metal here. Here's where the glue is going to go and I'm going to put the glue, hold this up to 90 degrees, hold the metal down firmly and allow it to cool at 90 degrees or whatever, whatever inclination you, you want it. So I'm going to fold my paper back a little bit, take the hot glue, put a liberal amount under there. Fold it up, hold the piece of metal on, get down and look at the alignment. And left with a nice whoop, vertical stabilizer there with a nice clean smooth transition there and on the outside. So my next step for this particular plane is I'm going to put this reinforcement keel in the middle and put all my electronics on there, kind of like this guy, only I'm going to use a ducted fan. And that sort of reinforces the center and provides a platform to stick your stuff to. <clears throat> I don't have plans for this, but if anybody's really interested in this particular flying wing delta, I'd be happy to discuss it and give you some tips. You can send me a message. And hopefully this whole thing gives you some ideas about forming uh, vertical stabilizers and fins and finishing these leading edges and trailing edges and stuff. And maybe that's some good use, so come up with some good ideas and let us know what you got. Take care.